So when you're cutting cards with the Cricut, for me it starts with the Cricut Design Space software on the iPad. And I'm in the Make section of this software. Uh, in the earlier section in the uh, Canvas, I actually went ahead and created some rectangles of the appropriate size. And then I duplicated the rectangles so that I have nine rectangles. And uh, I took a picture of the cutting mat with the sheet that I want to cut already superimposed on the cutting mat over here. And once that picture uh, appears here in the uh, iPad uh, Cricut design space, then I'm able to move these rectangles over the portions of the image that I want the Cricut to cut. And that is all using a feature that you find here in the lower left of the uh, design space software called Snap Mat. And right now, because I already have a picture loaded in here, then it says unsnap. And this uh, unsnap would allow me to remove the current picture and put a new picture, but I don't need to do that right now. So once I've got all the software configuration done, then the next step would be to actually press this button continue and the uh, Cricut would communicate via Bluetooth uh, or rather the Design Space software would communicate with the Cricut and then it would start cutting. And I'll show you that in just a second. Right, so now I've taken the uh, printout and I have uh, adhered it to the Cricut cutting mat here. And so now the next step is going to be to wake up my iPad and tap this continue button in the Cricut design space. And now it starts to communicate with the Cricut. In a couple of seconds, this button is going to start blinking and it's going to say, hey, let's go ahead and load that uh, cutting mat into the Cricut. So now the time has come to load the mat. So I have to align it on here on the left side, here on the right side. And then when I'm happy with that, then uh, I'm going to uh, press the load button. And the way I'm gonna, actually gonna need two hands for this. So um, forgive me while I use the hand that's holding the camera to tap that button. Okay, so now it's uh, loaded and the mat has been taken in by these roller wheels here. here. And now the uh, button that uh, tells it to start cutting, this Cricut button, is now blinking. So that's basically saying that, hey, you've loaded the mat and now it's time to start cutting. So let's press this button. And now the uh, Cricut will align itself with the image uh, that was in the design space. Okay, and that's, uh, we'll, we're gonna let it do its thing. So that's basically an overview, and um, here are some cards that I've already cut out uh, using the Cricut. So uh, this is the front, this is the back. So I've got it, by trial and error, I've got it dialed into um, where everything really is how I want it. And just tonight, in about, uh, a little over an hour, I've been able to produce, uh, this is nearly a hundred cards using the Cricut. And uh, that sheet that's currently being cut right now is uh, my last sheet. And this is for the uh, Monsters deck of the Maximum Apocalypse build. So um, that is a brief overview of uh, how I cut cards using the Cricut. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Right, when you are finished cutting cards with the Cricut, the Cricut Design Space software will tell you unload. It's time to unload that cutting mat from that Cricut. So we're gonna go ahead and unload it by pressing this flashing load unload button. And it unloads the cutting mat. And over here you see this is what was just cut. So uh, I've got the uh, pressure of the uh, knife dialed in to um, where I can, it cuts all the way through, uh, but it doesn't cut the mat. And so that is um, what it looks like when um, we are cutting with the Cricut. And now I'm gonna go ahead and remove these uh, cards from this mat and then round the corners.